Martini, I have a challenge for you. We want a festive dessert, something that is delicious, that looks amazing and isn't too heavy. Well, I was thinking of making a strawberry trifle. I'm going to bring the trifle from the 70s into something that's really hot right now. First thing, make your own jelly. Now, this is really easy. I've got 300 grams of frozen berries. Yeah. Pop them on the stove along with 500 mils of apple juice. And the apple juice gives the jelly a lovely um, zing. And also I'm going to add 160 grams of caster sugar. And then we'll just bring it to the simmer for three to four minutes, dissolve the sugar, mm -hmm. but also extract the colour and the flavour from the berries. Right. We'll also add, just for a bit of a pump up in the jelly, a couple of tablespoons of strawberry jam. So Joe, to set the jelly, we're going to use sheet gelatine. Now, I find this is a lot better than the powdered gelatine, which can sometimes make your jelly lumpy and a little cloudy. We have to do what they say, bloom the gelatine, right. which is just to soften it in some cold water. OK, Joe, I think we can pour it off now. So you'll need a fine strainer, and you literally just pour the berries off. Yeah, it looks like your little gelatine sheets oh, are... Are they nice and soft? They're absolutely soft. Do you soft. want to squeeze them out for me? So you put how many? Nine of those in? Nine sheets right. of gold strength. So now we'll add it in. And because that liquid... Hey, Rudy. Rudy, Rudy's <laughs> come sniff around and see if it's trifle. <laughs> anyway, the gelatine's literally melted straight away. And then we just pour it off straight into this trifle dish. Now, you could use any glass bowl, but I do recommend a glass bowl because okay. you want to see all your layers in the trifle. Excellent. And then we'll pour some of the jelly into this plastic tray, also to dice up later. And these will take around four to six hours to set. So the other thing that's always in trifle is custard. Yes. Yeah? If you make your own, it can be something really special. Six egg yolks. OK. 150 grams of caster sugar. Mm -hmm. Four tablespoons of corn flour. I'm using some vanilla paste. paste. Yum. Very similar to extract, it's, it has all the seeds in it. So we'll add two teaspoons of this. Right. We'll give this a quick whisk. Then you'll need 680 mils of milk and we're going to heat it up along with 450 mils of cream. Bring it to the simmer. So you don't need to mix it any more than that. We're not yeah. aerating it, we're just sort of combining, combining. it. Combining? Very well combined. Thank you. I can see you're a natural custard <laughs> maker. <laughs> see how the milk's just starting to bubble around the edge? Yep. That's done. You could whisk while I pour the hot milk and cream in. All right. Yep. Pour that back into the pot. And then over a medium heat, we'll just give it a bit of a stir for a good five to ten minutes and it'll thicken up. And what sort of thickness are you looking for? Well, we're looking for a good coating on the back of the spoon. Right? OK. So, Joe, I think we're ready to assemble. This is the fun part. So I've got a Swiss jam roll that I have bought from the shop. <laughs> save some time. Yes, you do <laughs> need to save some time. I've got about three tablespoons of strawberry jam with chunks of strawberry in it. Just warm through with a couple of tablespoons of water. So we'll cut the Swiss roll into slices and we'll start by laying the Swiss roll into the bowl. I also want to slice some strawberries because, I mean, we all eat with our eyes and we want this to be really beautiful going to the table. So I'm going to decorate it by putting some strawberries just cut against the edges so we're making like a case, if you like, to pour that custard in. Yeah. Brush some strawberry jam onto the sponge. Mm -hmm. My nana always said, you can't have a trifle without a good splash of sweet cherry. <laughs> we'll pour in the cold custard. This looks great. Next, we will put on some jelly. OK. And then we'll put more sponge on top and a little bit of strawberry jam. And you guessed it, a little bit of sherry. We just need to top it with lashings of whipped cream, dropping on some more strawberry just mm -hmm. for our final garnish. A little bit more jelly, because yeah. these look like little quivering jewels. And a final little garnish, totally optional, but I love it. Yes. Is some toasted flaked almonds, just sprinkled over the top like that. It looks beautiful. And a good dusting of icing sugar. It's snowing. And I think that's an absolute dream to take to the table. It would definitely be the star of the Christmas table. It's my strawberry trifle. Yeah, I think it's the perfect way to end our Christmas feast.